Now, you watched our video on authentication of your domain, but want to know specifically, how do you do this with Squarespace domains? Not to worry, I've broken it down into an easy step-by-step -step process for you. So, without further ado, let's get started. From your MailerLite dashboard, go ahead and click Account Settings on the left side toolbar. From here, go ahead and click on the Domains tab, and we're going to add Domain. Here is where you will enter in the email address from which you would like to send emails from. Once inputted, go ahead and click Save. You can verify your email address with the confirmation email we send you or immediately authenticate your domain to automatically verify your email. To authenticate, go ahead and then click Authenticate. A new window will pop up with your DKIM and your SPF record information. You're going to want to keep this tab open as we're going to essentially be copying and pasting this information into your Squarespace domains account. From here, I would recommend opening a new tab and logging into your Squarespace account. Once on your dashboard, go ahead and click Domains, and now select the URL you would like to set up. From the right side pop-up window, go ahead and then click Manage Domain Settings, and then head over to Edit DNS. From here, we're going to add our DKIM record, and for the host field, we're going to switch to our MailerLite account, we're going to copy the name information here, and we're gonna copy this into our Squarespace domains account. One thing to keep in mind is you will need to delete the URL and the period from the host information here. Squarespace domains will actually add this information for you. From here, the drop down menu under type, let's go ahead and click CNAME. And for the data, we will then need to copy the information from our MailerLite account. So once more, switch to our MailerLite account and copy the value information. Now switching back to Squarespace, we're gonna go ahead and paste that information here. Now we can go ahead and click on Save. Now we're gonna add our SPF records. We're gonna follow a similar format. So to get started, let's go ahead and click Add Record. And for the host, we can actually simply add the at symbol. And for the type, we're gonna switch this to TXT. And now let's go ahead and head back to our MailerLite account, and we're going to copy the value field here. Switching back to Squarespace, we're gonna paste that information right here. Once pasted, now just click Save. Do keep in mind, you cannot have two SPF records. So if you already have one set up, you will actually need to merge them. You can find more info about this in the description below. Now we can return back to our MailerLite account and go ahead and click Check DNS Records to check if it's been authenticated. And as you can see here, it has now been authenticated. Keep in mind, it could take up to 24 hours for the new records to take effect. To verify if they've worked, head back to your MailerLite account settings, go to the Domains tab, and click Authenticate on your domain. Then click on the green Check DNS Records button to make sure that the records match. If they do, they'll be approved and your domain will be authenticated. If not, you'll want to reach out to support from your domain provider to troubleshoot. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.